is an extreme rules match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The Viper, ready to strike. You know, Randy Orton watched his father in the very first WrestleMania main event, and then he went on to main event multiple WrestleManias of his own. Now, this is a stage where he's faced the likes of The Undertaker, Triple H, and John Cena. We have seen Randy Orton go from being known as a legend killer to a legend. And we know Orton only needs three letters to create the ultimate WrestleMania moment. R. K. O. There is no question, Randy Orton is one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. I agree, Saxon, and his venom is as potent as ever. Orton knows how to debilitate any opponent. Once the fangs come out, Orton aims for the kill. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looks as ready as ever for action tonight. From undesirable to undeniable to the grandest stage of them all. Made his WWE return in an all-time classic. And then one year later, did something his father was never able to do. Compete in the main event of WrestleMania. One task remains for the American Nightmare. Finish the story at the Showcase of Immortals. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes.
That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. It doesn't get any bigger than this. And these superstars covered by the champ. Quick shoulder up. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer. Cody. The crossroads. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Oh, and quick resiliency from the challenger. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Cody looking to end this. The crossroads. But champions need to finish the job. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot, yet you can't give up now. Rhodes hopes for victory dash for the time being, but you know he won't settle for long. Oh, no way. We can have a new champion. Cover. We almost had a new champion. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. And this match is still not over. Orton is seething at that kick out. Watch out. Able to evade. The Viper able to strike back. Oh, targeting the neck. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And he's gone with the ladder, which is a risky choice no matter how you use it. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Took him out at the knee. Setting foot in the ring now. Softening up the neck with that one. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. This one is headed outside, guys. Orton hooking his opponent. Nice backbreaker. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. I can't begin to imagine what he's got planned here, guys. Maybe it's a yard sale. Taking his chances on a make or break moment, and I do mean break. This is going to leave splinters. You gotta wonder what he's thinking. Don't do it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy smokes! Carini right from the ladder and right on target. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Orton setting his sights and lining him up. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. It really just countered. Randy showing he's not out of it. Orton hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Incredible pressure being put on Rhodes. Cody's got to fight. Incoming! He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. And that failed to hit the mark. Some hard offense landing on the champ. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure. But not sure how much more tenable it could be. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Still in it with a quick kick out. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick out before a one count? It's stunning. Ceaseless punishment from the Viper. Orton loves to have this kind of control. Underhook applied. Side effect. For the win. His arm 
shot off the mat before one. How at this point you don't even stay down long enough for a one count is beyond comprehension. Turning the tables. These two having an answer for everything. Finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit. Heading back to the ring. Taking aim to the back of the neck. Making the climb here, guys. Oh, he's heading for higher ground. Randy with a counter. Intercepts that attack with the title might change hands. Looking for the victory. Two kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. That was a matter of a fraction of a second. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. Here come the bombs. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American nightmare. Slam by the Viper. That's gotta be it. Two count. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. KO out of nowhere. Gonna see a new champ. KO. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Two. Yes, we have a new champion. Here is your winner, and the new undisputed WWE Universal Champion, The Viper, Randy Orton. A night and title change we will all remember for a very long time. He wanted this title so badly, and he went in there and made it happen. Impressive stuff.